What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we are getting this engine bay all ready for what I got planned for. I'm not gonna tell you yet. So what we're gonna do today is strip this entire engine bay and get it cleaned up and I'll show you what we're gonna do later in the video. And if you didn't see the last video, go check it out. It'll be linked up in the corner. We got the engine all ready to go back into the truck. So here's the engine. So basically what we did is resealed the oil pan, relocated the dipstick, which involved drilling a new hole through the block, um, did a rear main seal, did some work on the crossover pipe, for the uh, exhaust and tidied up a few things, just getting this thing ready to go back into the truck and fixing all the leaks and everything it had. So what we're gonna get started with is get the whole front end off, pull the fenders, and basically strip this entire engine bay. Obviously this is very dirty, very nasty, and I wanna get it cleaned up. So when I built this truck, originally, I didn't touch the engine bay, and that was the one thing I'm, I regretted most about it until I blew the motor, pulled it back out, and then I went through and repainted it all. And now it looks amazing. So what I wanna do is get this bay looking good and we'll see what we can do with it. So let's get started ripping this thing apart. Well, I officially made a disaster of the shop, but we got the entire bay stripped. So now we gotta get it outside, pressure wash it. I'll probably cut this bracket out of here for the battery since we're not using that. And see if we can get this thing cleaned up.
Well guys, two hours, a brand new shirt, and a gallon of gas later, we're finally clean. So lots and lots of scrubbing. Like I said, about two hours worth. We got this thing looking a lot better. So we gotta get this in the shop, get this bay prepped, cause we're gonna shoot something on it. All right, we got the truck in the shop looking good. So I'm still waiting for some stuff to uh, tackle this bay. So in the meantime, I pulled my clutch bracket out because I noticed it was all welded up here. And this is actually a fairly common problem for those welds to break. And I really don't trust what the other guy put on there. Plus the pedal hole for the uh, master is all ovaled out. So I think I'm gonna weld that up, redrill that hole, and then just put some more weld on this just to make sure that doesn't pop off at all. got a little bit of weld on there and then we got the pedal hole all plugged up so I'm gonna grind that flat and then re-drill that hole put some paint on it and we should be good all right there we go clutch pedal assembly is all back together so you're not gonna be able to see if I try to film in the truck. So I'm gonna get this back in and then we can start working on some other things. Well, I guess the next thing we could tackle is cutting this out because obviously the battery is on this side. So these are just spot welded in. So I got a spot weld cutter. I'm gonna cut that out and get it all cleaned up. All right guys, we got this area all cleaned up. So I'm gonna mix up some epoxy primer and coat this, put a couple coats on this area just to cover up the bare metal and helps with the uh, rust as well. All right guys, now the next day, primer is all set up and dried. So what I'm gonna do now is just go around and we gotta scuff this entire bay. Um, I picked up one of these from my brother Cameron, primemx.com. So I just stacked three of these Scotch Bite pads up on his adapter and then stuck in the drill. So we're gonna try that out, get most of the areas with that. And then <clears throat> the stuff I can't get with those uh, pads, I'll just take a regular scotch bright pad and hit, hit the areas that I can't get with that. boys we got the bay all scuffed up so I guess all we can do in the meantime is I want to coat the inner fenders and I just got some of this bed armor uh, truck bed coating I guess so we can spray those out and then I actually picked up a new steering box because mine was leaking pretty bad out of the front seal and I really don't think you can even rebuild them without a lot of specialty tools. So I went to the racking yard, it paid like 30 bucks for this thing. It didn't look like it was leaking, so 
we gotta throw some paint on it. I think I'm just gonna use a chassis saver, coat this thing, we'll just brush it on. There we go guys, steering box is all painted up and the inner fenders. So I think one last thing I'm gonna do, while this motor's out, I wanted to paint all this frame area and I'm not gonna go all out, I'm just gonna bomb can it. It's not, uh, it's gonna be mostly hidden anyway. So I just wanna get it freshened up. And then that front, I think they had this super sweet bumper welded right to the frame on the front but obviously not going to use that thing so i'm gonna throw some primer on that area and then we'll just get some black and kind of just shoot this this frame and suspension and should be good enough just with a rattle can There it is guys, looking a lot better than it did. So, very happy with how that turned out. So I know you guys probably think I'm a little ghetto doing the spray paint, but I think there's two ways to tackle a frame. One of them being completely stripping it, sandblasting it, and actually painting it. If you're not gonna do that, you might as well just rattle can it because no matter what you do, there's so many nooks and crannies to get in there and actually sand it and prep it for an actual automotive paint or you know frame coating it doesn't last it just doesn't so i feel like for this truck being you know the budget build that we're doing i'm not going to strip the entire thing down and blast the frame and all that so this will definitely hold up and if you ever have issues with it all you got to do is grab your spray can and go to town again so should work out pretty good so like i said we're still waiting for some coatings to get this engine bay completely done but at least it's ready 100 percent ready scuffed all we really got to do is mask it and shoot it as soon as we get that stuff in and I want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys that place an order on the website. It really helps the channel grow, helps me get these videos out for you guys and do these builds. It's not cheap. And even after a year and a half of doing this on YouTube, still not making much at all. So it really helps out. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.